Hey guys, I am Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we will talk about what is programming. So before we move on and discuss about programming, let's start from the very basics like what is a computer. Now a computer is an electronic device or collection of electronic devices that takes input from the user in form of data and instruction, does the needful processing on the input as instructed and produces the output which is the information back to the user. Now with the definition it's very clear that a computer is collection of electronic devices which works with the user and the user provides input to the computer and the computer provides output back to the user. Here the user provides data and instruction as the part of input. The computer performs some process on the data according to the instruction and according to the processing on the data it produces the information or the output to the user. Now a computer can process any type of input and can produce any type of output. It completely depends on the process. So uh, for example we can provide a music file, a file of a song as an input to the user and definitely the computer can provide different output. For example, computer can play the song for us and provide the output in form of sound or if we are processing on the music file, so the computer can produce a new music file for us. So it totally depends on what sort of instruction we have given to the computer and what sort of processing the computer is doing. Now a computer can perform anything. Now anything means anything that can be instructed to it. Anything that can be told to computer like how to perform that task. If that thing can be instructed, computer can do it. Now these instructions can be stored in the computer's memory so that we need not to provide them every time. So this is one of the advantage that a computer provides us like computer provides us memory and we can store these set of instructions in the computer's memory so that we can use the same set of instruction later on and we need not to provide it again and again. Now these instructions are given to a computer in the collection and that collection is known as program. So the collection of instructions that we provide to a computer is nothing but a program and these collection of programs are known as software. Now there are a few important terms that you should know. So one of the important or key term is software itself and we right now have understood that software is nothing but a collection of related programs. A program is collection of related instruction and instruction is a statement or statements given to be executed by the computer system and programming is the process of creating programs. A person who performs programming is a programmer. So programmer is a person who performs programming. Programming is a process where we create programs. Program is collection of related instructions. Instructions are those statements which are provided to the computer so that the computer can execute it and these collection of related programs are nothing but a software. So that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then thank you and take care.